Welcome to this ArchiCAD video trial exercise. During this exercise, we will learn how ArchiCAD can help us design and manage renovation projects. The project we will be working on is a small domestic extension. The changes to the roof have already been modelled. Feel free to take a look at these. We are going to be working on the living room extension on the ground floor. Renovation projects are managed using the renovation palette. Activate the palette by selecting the window pull down, then palettes and then renovation. In a renovation project, each element bears a renovation status according to its role in the building. During a renovation project, we start by modelling the existing building. Elements with the existing renovation status are represented by the little brick wall button. Once all of the existing elements are modelled, we can start marking up for demolition. We are not going to delete elements from the project, as that would make them disappear forever. Instead, we will change the renovation status to to be demolished. This is represented by the little bulldozer. Let's select the three walls in the back garden, forming the closure to the living room. Make sure that nothing is currently selected by clicking in an empty place. Then, holding down the shift key, click on each of these walls. Now change the renovation status of these walls to To Be Demolished by clicking on the little bulldozer button. Seemingly nothing happens, but ArchiCAD now knows that these walls are to be demolished. Finish the operation by clicking in an empty space to deselect the walls. In order to make this exercise quicker, we have created favourites for each building element to be placed. A favourite is a quick way to remember all the settings of a particular element and can be transferred between projects as well. You can access the favourites available for each tool by holding the mouse button down on the tools icon in the toolbox or clicking the small arrow next to them. Activate favourites by double clicking on them. Now activate the ground floor view. Open the pop-up navigator by clicking on the pop-up navigator button on the right hand side of the tab bar. Switch to the view map by clicking the middle button in the top right corner of the navigator, then double click the ground floor in the proposed building detailed plans folder. Before starting to draw the new walls, we need to change the default renovation status for elements. Make sure that you have nothing selected by clicking in an empty space, then use the renovation palette to change the default renovation status to proposed, represented by the little crane. To start drawing the external extension walls, hold down your mouse button over the wall tool until the favourites pop-up appears, then double click on external side walls favourite. Click on the outside corner of the lower wall to start drawing the new wall. Because the wall is being drawn on the wrong side of the reference line, we will need to flip it. Click the flip wall button in the info bar and then click on the corner of the existing wall. Repeat the steps on the other side of the extension. Now activate the proposed extension walls favourite to draw the main wall for the extension and draw the wall as shown on screen. Activate the new patio door favourite by double clicking it in the favourites pop-up. You can open the favourites pop-up by holding down your mouse button on a tool. ArchiCAD will automatically place a snap point in the middle of the newly created wall. Click on this point on the outside face of the wall. The little sun is meant to represent the outside. Your next click will define which way the door opens. Now activate the first floor plans by right clicking on the ground floor tab and selecting the first floor. In order to show the ground floor plans superimposed, we will use trace and reference. Click the Trace and Reference button in the Quick Access Toolbar to activate Trace and Reference. In order to place the flat roof, long click on the Roof tool and double click the Extension Flat Roof Favourite. Draw the reference line for the roof as shown, then click on the right hand side of the line to define the slope of the roof. Draw the roof from the outside face of the inside leaf of the wall below to the outside face of the wall on the first floor, as shown on screen. You can now turn Trace and Reference off by clicking the button in the Quick Access Toolbar. We now need to draw the new rafters for the roof. 
Activate the beam tool and select the extension beam's favourite. Draw the first beam as shown. Using the arrow tool, select the beam and activate the Edit, Move, Multiply menu command. Set the values up as shown and click OK to start creating copies of this beam. Click the node on the beam and move your mouse upwards to create three copies. Repeat the steps on the other side then click in an empty space to deselect all elements. To place the new roof lights on the roof, activate the skylight tool and select the new skylights favourite. Hover over the ends of both beams to circle them for reference. With both beam ends circled, if you now go close to a logical extension point, Archicad will automatically give you snap references that you can snap to. Click on this intersection point and select the rotation for the skylight. Use the arrow tool to select the newly created roof light and then use the edit, move, multiply function and use the settings shown on screen to create copies of the skylight. We will create the parapet wall for the extension in 3D. Click the 3D tab to switch to 3D. The renovation filters are view specific, so make sure that you are looking at the proposed building. Navigating around the 3D window is similar to navigation in 2D. Holding down the mouse wheel while moving the mouse will pan. Scrolling the middle mouse button will zoom. To orbit, hold down the shift key and the mouse wheel simultaneously and move the mouse. To start drawing the parapet wall, activate the wall tool and double click on the parapet wall favourite. Click on the corner where the two walls meet. You might need to flip the wall by clicking the flip wall button in the info bar. Using the automatically appearing snap references, draw around the extension. Your last click will need to be a double click. This concludes the renovation exercise. The roof conversion in this project has already been modelled by us. Feel free to take a look at this.